Mark, first of all, welcome to Crawley. Um, new challenge for you. you. Must be looking forward to it. Uh, well, I'm, I'm really keen to get stuck into. Really uh, eager to get started. It's just a shame that there's a few months now before any, you know, football's being played. But there's lots to be done, um, and I'm, I'm really excited by the challenge ahead. What does a manager do? When he's not managing, if you see what I mean, what have you been up to for the last few months? Um, Watching games, I imagine. Yeah, I've been to lots of games. I've, uh, to start with, it's a novelty, and it's you know what you could do with a breather. Um, six months nearly, and it's been the last couple of months have been been tough. You know, you you want to get back in, you're waiting for the right opportunity. They don't quite happen for you. A couple of things. I've done lots of CPD stuff, I've gone into a lot of clubs and watched training sessions, talked to managers, just tried to improve myself, um, reflected on good times and not quite so good times that I've had as a manager and think, right, you know, where do I improve, how do I get better? And, and one thing's for sure, I think Crawley I've got a better manager than, I've, than I was, you know, six months ago. Um, I've had a good rest, I'm, as I say, I'm, I'm ready for it. I'm, Desperate for that first game, but I say there's, a, there's work to be done, and I'm going to do everything I can. I'm going to try and get the best possible squad I can get, the best backroom staff I can get, and try and bring a bit of success back to this club. And Crawley and Cheltenham, fairly similar sized clubs, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Uh, pointed out CTFC, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm there again. You know, um, <laughs> that's fine. Yeah, similar fan bases, um, and, and you know, my one of my aims here is to give the supporters, the local younger fans as well, something to cheer about and something to to want to be proud and want to support um, want to support Crawley Town and, and if we can do that then we'll be moving in the right direction, you know the, 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 fan, the fan base is, isn't the biggest but I, I've heard really good things about those that come down, can we attract the next you know the next generation, can we attract those that just travel a little bit further to go and watch yeah. games and, and, and that's the aim and if we're, if we're playing good football and, and playing attractive football and people know what they're going to get and, and we can keep producing that then, then they'll, they'll turn up and hopefully we can, we can do that. What sort of uh, football does Mark Yates' team mm. play? What can we look forward to if, if you can get the right personnel yeah, of course? I, I want to play like everybody, decent, attacking, entertaining football, um, try and get some intelligent footballers here and try and give them a structure to work off but I want them to go and express themselves I want them to um, take the shackles off and just go and be as good as they can be you know we all think as players you all think we can do things well I'm going to give them the, I'm going to try and give them the tools and the and the whereabouts to, to go and to go and do that bottom line they have to work hard you know whatever that means to, to certain people you know um, but the, the team that will put on the pitch will work We'll work hard on the training ground to make sure that Saturday, Tuesdays, whenever we play, we're, we're ready. We're, we're at times we're we're in people's faces and we're we're showing a hunger and desire that that I think you need to succeed. You know, there's there's certain things you need to be good at in in, in League Two, um, and we'll try and recruit accordingly. But but we want to play good football. You know, we're going to have a good pitch here next year, and. Um, we're going to try and entertain, but, but win matches and, and, and be as successful as we can. What's the short-term plan now for you for the next few days um, and weeks? Because obviously pre-season is still a little bit of a way off. Yeah, yeah. You probably want it to start tomorrow. I, I, I certainly do, but that's that's the way it is. Um, I'm I'm down probably down here. Sort of, I've travelled down this morning um, with an overnight bag or, or two. Just I'll be down t until until I need, uh, things are done. I, there's a few things I need to tie up. You know, with the club, just just one or two things I need to iron out. At the minute, there's no there's no backroom staff. There's no um, there's a there's a, a squad that that needs to be sort of just gone Left through in, and, yeah. and just just see where, exactly where we are. And uh, that's fine by me. I knew I knew what the what the score was when I when I when I took the job, and that's fine. And I'll we'll, sit down with um, with Michael and and just um, just try and identify one or two things that we want to do uh, and just and, and take it from there you know I'm going to try and meet the players I'm going to go have a good look at the training ground just you know it, it, I'm, I'm never going to be in a better position to try and uh, what, try and just improve things yeah. you know and, and you know I'm, I'm, I'm realistic you know I'm, I, I know what the job entails um, but I'm going to try and push that to, to make sure that when the players have come back it's 
it's it's lively, it's energised, and it's and it says this place wants to wants to be a success, and this place is, is where we're going to work hard to, to to achieve that success. And um, so I'm, I'm I'm looking forward to it. I've, I'm going away next weekend, and, and to be honest, I've had it booked for nearly a year now, and I've been thinking I'm going away, and I, I don't want to go away. I haven't earned anything. <laughs> yeah. I haven't earned the right to go away. But I, I think if I have a few good days, then I think week or two away will be a little bit sweeter. Does it help that you haven't got the backroom staff because you can bring your own guys in and, and it helps you set the template straight away? Yeah, yeah listen, there's, there's, there's sometimes um, the need for continuity. It's not here at the moment, so right, fresh start with backroom staff. Got to just sort out exactly what what we need, what's available and, and try and bring the best possible people that I can in, in that department and I've already I've just been down here for a couple of hours and had a good chat with the, the one member of staff we do have at the moment on the football the side, the, the club doctor, and he's been filling me in, in on, on, on a number of issues and you know where we, what we need to do and his thoughts on on the medical side of it and, and you know, it's been it's been good um, and I just I think we're in a position where we do need a physiotherapist ahead of medical the, the medical department in quickly. Um, you know that we'll move as quick as we can in terms of getting the right person in and and, and you know filling the fitting the criteria that we that we need to. And then in terms of, of backroom staff, I've I've got um, feeders out already. I've had you know um, people ringing me up, people sending in CVs to John the club. Steam, so, start beating. Yeah, of course it does. Yes. So it, it, it does. People knew I'd got the job. You know, literally. Hours after you know I did, so it, it, it soon, as you said, the jungle drum beats in, in football. Um, but it's we'll just take our time and just do all the due diligence we can that, that gives us a chance of bringing in the best we can and being a success.